Hi, my name is Bethany and I make videos about Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease. Growing up, I was told that breathing problems from CMT are really rare. Actually, I wasn't told that. I just read that as a sentence or two on web pages about CMT. It wasn't something or a possibility that my doctors even brought up. That's how rare these complications are, I assumed. And so I just went about my life completely unconcerned about my breathing and much more focused on, you know, issues of my hands and my feet. But then there were a couple events that happened. I'd been having some weird symptoms and it ultimately got to the point where I got two common colds and both of them nearly hospitalized me. And that was the point where I decided I needed to investigate because something was clearly wrong in here. And soon enough, I'm having a bunch of pulmonary function tests done, which are actually really easy and simple to perform. And then I find myself sitting here in London in the office of a respiratory physician. He's British and very nice. And he's telling me that he sees a picture of restriction. He tells me that my lungs aren't able to fully inflate with air. And that's why I feel like I can't take a deep breath. And he tells me that I'm not strong enough to be able to fully cough up mucus when I get a cold. And that's why it so easily can turn into a really dangerous infection for me. It was only later when I was reading the notes that he wrote up to my general practitioner that I actually read the diagnosis, restrictive lung disease. And here's my thing and why I'm making this video. I consider myself to be pretty knowledgeable about CMT. I've been researching the disease since I was 12 when I first figured out that this was what I had. <laughs> and I've been heavily involved in the CMT community since then. I've been to some of the world's experts on CMT. I've been incredibly lucky to be seen by the best. And I ask a lot of questions when I see my doctors. And yet when I got this diagnosis, I was surprised. And I felt completely unprepared for that news and for how to deal with it. And I think that's a problem. The thing is when you just tell people that something is extremely rare and you end the conversation there, they assume that it will never happen to them. And they're likely to miss things if they happen to be in that extremely rare category. Because yes, these complications might be rare with CMT, but they're certainly more common in our population than they are in the general population. And I'm genuinely not trying to scare anyone out there who has CMT that this is going to happen to you because it probably isn't. It probably isn't. But I do think it's really, really valuable for people to know the symptoms to look out for, just in case you are one of those extremely rare or rare individuals like me. So these are the symptoms that I wish I had noticed sooner. I stopped being able to sing or at least sing well. I suddenly just didn't have the breath support to hold or even reach a note like I used to be able to. I was getting winded really easily. 
and not just from things like going up the stairs or like putting in a load of laundry, although I do get really winded doing those things. Uh, but even if I was like reading a book to someone aloud, I would find I needed to take breaths constantly, like even in the middle of a sentence. I was having trouble sleeping in that I would wake up constantly throughout the night and I would wake up feeling really unrested and sometimes I'd wake up with headaches and my head would feel really foggy. And the other thing that was weird was, you know how sometimes if, if you're doing like yoga or meditation or, or someone's trying to like relax you and ease your stress, they'll tell you just to close your eyes and take a deep breath. That would do the opposite for me. It would totally stress me out <laughs> because I found it so impossible and uncomfortable to take a deep breath. It was just like, it was something I couldn't do anymore. But these changes happen so gradually that they just kind of become your new normal. Um, and that's why it took me, again, years and years uh, to let it get to that point before I realized that that was what was going on. I hope that this is helpful to someone out there. Um, and if this is something you are going through too, I just want you to know that you're not alone. And I get it.